Well, thank you, Taylor, for joining us at Game On Magazine. Let's start off with how, when, and why did you start hurdles running? Well, I was approximately 10 years old when I started hurdling, and um, my mother was a very experienced hurdler and coach, and I think she just saw a potential in me, and um, I think she just started me on hurdles and hoped that I loved the event as much as she did, and I did. What are the differences between 100 meters and 400 meters hurdles besides the increased distance? Do you have to make a mental shift in the way you approach them? Um, I definitely do have to. For the 100 meter hurdles, it's quite straightforward and it's more of a sprint. And for the 400 meter hurdles, it's more complex and you have to adjust to your striding and everything that you do, you have to just adjust and yeah. Have you competed in other athletic disciplines? I have competed in the 100 and 200 meters as training uh, for my hurdles. And I've also done cross country a few times in the off season to prepare me for the athletic season. Chalong, talk us through your training program. Uh, well, it usually depends on what time of the season it is. In off season, I do more strengthening and long distance events and in season, I focus on my hurdle technique and on my sprinting. You are the current Commonwealth Youth Games champion for 100 meter hurdles. Describe your experience of the Commonwealth Youth Games and running against some of the best hurdlers in the world. Well, I feel very blessed to, be, to have that title and um, I feel very... I love the people that I was racing with. They are so awesome and I know them from other events as well and it was just an awesome experience. What is your most cherished hurdles memory? I think it would be the moment after I ran uh, the SA record of the, the Commonwealth Games. Um, I just remember going up to my coach and I think it was just awesome knowing that or finding out that I ran and I broke the SA record that was standing for 33 years. What is the single most important lesson hurdles has taught you? Well, um, in my background, I've had, I've struggled with injury for almost a year and a half. And at the single last race that I could, and the chance that I could have to break the SA record, I was at the Commonwealth Games and I did that. So I think the hurdles taught me to never give up. Who do you look up, who do you look up to in the sporting world and in everyday life? Uh, well, I have to say that I look up to uh, my mother a lot because she knows what I'm going through and she's always there to support me and I'm just very grateful to have her. What would you say to aspiring young hurdlers? Well, I would tell them to never give up. I'll tell them to be ambitious and to focus on their goals and they will succeed if they do it and train hard. And lastly, Taylor, what are your goals for 2016? My goals are to qualify for the World Juniors in Poland this year and then run an Olympic qualifying time. Thank you so much, Taylor.